Today, I wanna to talk about one of my absolute favorite baits, which is a spinner bait. And I'm gonna give you two tips that I think will help you to catch a lot more fish on a spinner bait. Guys, as always, this video is brought to you by my apparel brand, Fin Fishing. You can get USA made sun shirts, one of the only ones on the market. Just click those links down below. Now, when it comes to a spinner bait, a lot of us know that this is a phenomenal spring bait, but it also works all year long. Now that's not a tip, but one thing that I do want to let you know is that the color red in the spring is highly effective. And a lot of anglers know that. Now, when it comes to fishing a spinnerbait in the spring, having a spinnerbait that has this little red or little orange kicker on it can be very, very effective at catching bass. I fished a tournament a couple of years ago and me and my buddy who were fishing this tournament, we're fishing the exact same spinner bait, except for one difference. We were both, we were both throwing uh, a white and chartreuse uh, spinner bait skirt, but I had a red blade and he did not, okay? And it was so evident and so clear to me in that tournament that those fish were keen on that particular red because I caught like five fish to his one fish in that tournament. We did really well, but that's besides the point. The thing is, is that red, as you may already know, is really, really good. Now you may have a favorite spinner bait, for example, like this is, an, this is one of my favorite spinner baits. And as you can see, it doesn't have a red blade on it. Now you can obviously go buy a whole new spinner bait that has red, a red kicker blade on it, or you can do what I'm about to show you and take your favorite spinner bait. You could, you could possibly change the actual blade on it if you want. Or what I like to do is just change my trailer. My simple, that's all, it's, it's very simple, right? I'm gonna take off my standard uh, plastic trailer that I have on there. I love a grub style trailer. And one of my favorite ones to put on instead, this is a Rage, uh, a Rage Crawl. And I know that this doesn't sound like your st typical spinnerbait trailer, but I'll show you what I do with it. The reason that I like the Rage Crawl is that it has this really bright red color. Now there's probably other trailers out there on the market that are bright red. So you could probably use any of them. I just always have these red crawls with me. And so this is what I, what I do. And I try to basically make my, my, my trailer into a little grub. So take out my, my red Rage Crawls. And all I'm gonna do, if I can open the packet, is I'm gonna take one of these pinchers off. That's it, right? I'm just literally gonna pull one off like that. Some of you are probably like, <gasps> but it's okay. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that that pincher is on the opposite side of my hook point. So here's my hook point and my blades. I want that pincher to be on this side. And then I'm simply just gonna line it up and I'm gonna feed it right up the hook shank. Now this particular um, spinner bait is a Berkeley spinner bait. It has a very long hook shank on it, um, which I really, really like. And I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute, but it, that, that's, what, that's what your product is. I know it's, it's pretty ugly, right? But I'm telling you what, you have now added that color red to your spinner bait. And this to me is going to catch them in a very similar manner as this, right? You're just kind of putting the red in a little bit different place on your spinner bait. And the other thing is it gives you a target. If you actually look at this spinner bait right here, uh, the red is on the blade. If you look at my blade, which you're not gonna be able to see this on the camera, there's a lot of teeth marks on this particular blade right here where bass have come up and grabbed this and then they don't get hooked up, right? If you put the red on your hook and the bass see that when they get close and they grab it, guess what? They get the hook. So a little quick tip, something that's extremely simple. It's just something that not a lot of guys think about. And as always, I'll leave a link for the stuff that I have here down below. Now, the second thing, my second big tip that I wanna tell you when it comes to spinnerbait fishing is about, about adding a trailer, plastic trailer versus a trailer hook. A lot of guys and me for a number of years prefer to have some sort of trailer hook on a spinner bait. And this was something I, I've talked about on the Bass Fishing HQ channel a couple of times, and I always have some pushback, and that's, that's definitely understandable, right? Like you have, to, you have to just fish and kind of come up with your own opinions or guesses about what you have seen. But 
When I was growing up, I used a trailer hook on a spinnerbait all the time. And it seemed like I caught the majority of fish with a spinnerbait on that trailer hook. And at the time I thought, man, if I didn't have that trailer hook, I wouldn't have caught that fish. But what I've kind of felt or what I've kind of seen is that when you take that trailer hook off, it just seems like the bass get that main hook a lot better. Sometimes I think that the trailer hook almost gets in the way of that fish getting the main hook. When they come up on it, they get that trailer, it hooks them, and then it just kind of doesn't allow them to get the main hook, which is honestly, it's not a great thing. I would rather them have the main hook because that hook is usually a lot higher quality of a hook. Now, one thing that I have started to do a lot is I just like to add a simple plastic trailer to all of my spinner baits. And there's a number of different trailers that you can use. One of my favorites is the Zoom Fat Albert. This is the one that I use primarily. As you can see on this spinner bait, I have a small Kitek. And as I showed you just a minute ago, you could put anything on there. The point of this though, is to add bulk to your hook. And for those of you that don't know, I used to do tree work for a living. And during the winter, we would have these wind storms come through and you wouldn't have near as many trees fall over because there's no foliage. There's no leaves up in the tree to catch that wind to drag that tree over. Now, during the summer, you had that same wind storm. You have trees down all over the place. So the point of it is that you are adding foliage to your spinner bait when you put a piece of plastic on there. And what this does is when a bass comes up and he, what a bass does is it creates negative pressure in its mouth. So when it opens it, its mouth, there's almost a current, like a wind, if you will, that is drawing that bait into the bass's mouth. Now, if that current doesn't really have anything to catch, for example, if I take this particular trailer off of there, there's not a lot for this um, for that current to catch, right? The, the, the skirt is really like, it's just nothing. There's no bulk there. So those fish, I feel like if you add a trailer, will get that bait a lot better simply because it draws that plastic, that, that plastic will draw that spinner bait into that fish's mouth. And so for me, I don't use trailer hooks anymore. And one of my favorite baits has become, and I'm not sponsored by Berkeley, but one of my favorite spinner baits has actually become this Berkeley spinner bait. And I also like the Booyah spinner baits, they're great ones. But the reason that I like this particular Berkeley one is it has a very long hook on it, a very long hook. So in my opinion, now that hook drops down further, you have a plastic on there, and I feel like I hook every fish that bites this bait. So guys, those are my two tips when it comes to fishing a spinner bait. I hope that it helps you. And uh, I guess I will see you tomorrow.